Now, Mercedes has just unveiled their brand new all-electric single motor 2022 EQA. It's an electric brother of the GLA 250, and it's kind of a Tesla Model Y competitor. And in this video, we'll talk about some of the spec and tech before jumping into Photoshop to talk about the design and more specifically, the rear end of this car. Now, in Europe, the EQA will offer 187 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque, and is priced at an equivalent of $57,750. It's not determined yet whether it's coming to the US. That all depends on how Mercedes want to launch the brand new electric fleet here in the States and globally. But I'm pretty sure it will land in the US at some point because there has been talks about it getting a more powerful engine for the American market, maybe even 100 horsepower more than the EU version, bumping it up to around 280 horsepower. The EQA is just one car in the full electric lineup that we'll see from Mercedes this year and the next. Each of the conventional internal combustion engine Mercedes will get their sort of electric equivalent all the way from the A-Class to the G-Wagon. Some of these new EVs will be the GLB-based EQB, obviously. And I guess you can guess what the EQE is based on. And then we have the top-of-the-line S-Class of electric vehicles, the EQS. The EQA 250 is powered by a front-mounted motor that makes 187 horsepower, as I mentioned before, and 277 pound-feet of torque. But the thing here is that this is electric torque, so it comes instantly from the get-go. Compare that to the GLA's 250's 258 pound-feet of torque. However, the GLA 250 makes 34 more horsepower and also accelerates quicker from 0 to 60 by 2 seconds over the EQA, which is kind of interesting because usually when you do when companies make electric vehicles like this that are sort of small and nimble they usually take off very quickly especially at zero to 60 it's after 60 then the where the combustion and just kind of catches up in speed but this is two seconds slower than the gla 250 which is kind of weird it feels like they really held back with the electric power here on the eqa and on top of that it's also limited to 100 miles per hour in top speed whereas the gla 250 continues all the way up to 149 miles per hour the mercedes eqa will be built in both germany and in china and this will be a huge car for mercedes in china this is what the, the chinese want to see they don't really care about range because a 200 plus mile range is more than enough for the average commuter in china they don't they don't have this big range anxieties that we have here in the states but this will be a huge car for the chinese and i think it's going to sell well over there as well but i still i want to see it here in the u.s but they're going to have to bump up that 170 187 horsepower if they want to have anything to do with the market of the tesla model y in europe the price of the eqa 250 is only slightly higher than the gla 250 which carries a base price of 36,230 dollars so that was sort of an introduction of what eqa is and what it, what it means for mercedes when it comes to the spec and tech of the car what i want to do now is talk about the design and we're going to start with the front view talk about what i like about this design and then move around to the rear view where there is some interesting things going on i'm also going to redesign this in two ways and you can decide whether you prefer one of those or the original so here we are in photoshop let's start with the front view right here what i absolutely love about mercedes at the moment uh, one thing that i think they do better than anyone else right now is the design of wheels the wheel design coming from the factory of mercedes themselves i absolutely love everything about these wheels the small little spokes that you have right here that goes in between the long ones and also this bronze color it's almost like a uh, what's it called a steampunk feel to this design and the first time i saw these wheels they definitely reminded me of some rally wheels some lancia delta integrale wheels one of the coolest rally wheels ever made and it seems like they just put that in inspired from that design and put it onto an electric small little mercedes which i don't complain about at all a little thing that I, I i'm not a fan of is this black piece that you can see right here that sticks up and goes into the white area of the body i wish this would follow 
the curvature of the graphic feature that is the mouth down here instead of having this little thing poking out i want to delete that but that's just a tiny little detail compared to for example the tesla model y this eqa it has more of a traditional design in the front even though it is a fully electric uh, vehicle it still has that grill face so you have some black areas in the front and you have the mustang mach e doing this as well i think you can choose to have either the mach e with the body color in the grill or you can have it as, as an actual black piece in the middle to make i think the transition going from a regular gla if you have this being in body color i think it's going to set some mercedes uh owners off if they if they don't if they can't connect to the new graphics of the front end of the car so i think mercedes is more traditional they want to ease the transition over to this new electric fleet and that means adding some black pieces and graphics in the front of the face to make it look as if this grill here is actually needed to cool the engine. I'm sure it's how it, the grill is now housing a lot of tech, te technological features because that, seem, that seems to be the new function for this grill area right here is to add a lot of sensors and cameras and stuff behind that and inside of this thing. And I'm sure Mercedes has done something similar to this grill here as well. Overall, it reminds me a lot of the GLA, which is of course what it's based on. This whole entire piece right here is the exact same as the GLA, it's a cool looking car. I don't really have a lot to say on the front end. I do like the light bar that we have, which is interesting that Mercedes is now also starting to use the light bar. That's what we're gonna talk about when we go to the rear view. It works well in the front, but in the rear, I think uh, that there are, there are a few changes we can make to the rear, but in the front, we have this tiny, narrow light bar right here that goes into the headlights right here. Pretty simple, pretty easy to recognize graphic that gives the car some sort of identity when you see this car at night. But now let's jump to the rear view. And as I said, Mercedes now starting to use light bars like everybody else. They finally came around and added that to the EQA right here. But what I don't like about this light bar is that it, it looks like, an, like a GLA, but then it looks like some sort of um, chewing gum has been stretched between the two rear lights. It doesn't, it lacks so much definition. There is nothing going on here that you can tell that is this intentional or is it a straight line here or is it a curvature? For example, I want to have, I want to have this be more defined. What is this? Is this a continuous curvature or do we have a straight line right here? A tiny curvature here, then going into straight and then the same thing over here. It just feels like an elastic band that someone has uh, has just stretched out like this and it doesn't have any sort of uh, definition in the design itself. It feels like they just slapped on a light bar, just took the GLE lights, connected it with some sort of light bar in the middle and called it a day. And then it doesn't have any definition around this feature either. So you don't have any chamfers going to, to like encapsule this feature inside of this body. It just sits there and it looks off. Another thing that looks off here is the positioning of the Mercedes logo. Usually on the GLE, for example, you have the logo up here instead of down here and you have the uh, plate somewhere around here. So you have the plate in the middle and the logo sits uh, further up than it does here. But that doesn't work now that we have the light bar. So we need to figure out how to work around that. So what I want to do now is just quickly show you two different versions of this car or two different redesigns or ideas. One is keeping the light bar, but defining it a little bit more with some more design edges and some more structure to this new feature that is the light bar that goes in between the two pretty much regular GLA taillights. And the second one is just to remove the light bar all together and then figure out how to solve this area. I think that might work better because since it is an electric vehicle, I like to have clean surfaces. The GLA, it looks a little busy around this point right here because we have the license plate going down here. That means we need to cut in the body, create some creases and stuff inside of the body. But if we just keep the license plate down here and maybe, maybe move this up here. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. We have to figure that out. Keep the rest of the surface all clean. That might actually work. Another thing that really bothers me here is this air outlet. I just want to delete it might work on the GLA or it might be some vent for the turbulence in the wheelhouse going in here, going out there, but it, it, it feels too round, it's not defined. And then you have this very thin piece of material right here that is a curvature. I don't wanna have this be more structured as well. So more defined 
create something like this that follows the rest of the lines in the back sharper than what it is right now it looks too melted cheese in that area and there's a lot of melted cheese going on here you have melted cheese right here you have a lot of melted rubber band or whatever that is down in the middle right there so that's about it for this video i'm going to show you the redesigns now thank you so much for watching i'm the sketch monkey let me know which design you prefer in the comments below and i will see you in the next video